Hey everybody, happy holidays. Uh, I am just off of work. My video is a little late, but I got a lovely text message from Meatball saying she needed a new video. So I hopped in front of my camera and light and I'm ready to bring you a new video. So some people caught my live stream, some people didn't. I'm gonna touch on what I talked about there. But this time with wine, which I did not have then. I already spilled it on myself, so I'm doing really good. Exceptional. So, this is the frozen sweater. I'm do or the vintage frozen sweater. So I picked out a pattern for my next knitting project because I'm pretty much done with this baby. Just have to tie in a few loose ends and finish the hood and attach it. I could not stare at this color any longer, so I just needed a break. And I picked out a pattern from Subversive Femmes website, Bex as she is known, um, and it's a 40s, you know, ski sweater style piece with a snowflake design that changes, like flips colors halfway through. So this sweater, uh, the snowflake design I thought would be cute to go with like a frozen colorway. And then it would be kind of Disney adjacent, but also it would just be a cute vintage inspired knit piece. I picked out a color online during the Knit Pick sale, which I think just ended last night. I was very excited. It took forever to ship as they always do. And then got it. Got it even, actually a day earlier than they said I was going to. And the yarn is completely different colors than what I saw online. I understand that you know, everyone's screens view things differently, so it makes things hard. This color, called Tranquil, on my computer looks so much more blue. It actually was exactly the Arendelle Aqua that Disney premiered this year. As you can see, this is a lighter, more blue color. And has been making merchandise in, so I thought, what better than to knit an Arendelle, Arendelle Aqua sweater with a snowflake pattern from a 40s sweater pattern. I was so excited about this. This is all the yarn, and then plus a ball that I'm working on. Um, and then the color mist that I got for the white is actually grayer than I remember, but I think my last dye lot was just lighter than this, which is fine, that will still work. So this is the colors that my frozen sweater are going to be together. I will link the pattern in the description so you can look at it for yourself and understand what I'm saying a little better. But it will be the aqua, that's not really aqua, to here, I think. And there'll be half of the snowflake in white. And then it will flip and the yoke will be in white with the top half of the snowflake in blue. And I'll do that all the way across the sweater, around the back and on the sleeves. Um, I've never done any color changing other than striping. Um, so I'm excited for that. I was teaching myself Continental for this project. I have not stressed the Continental too much. I started this the night I did my Knit at Night live stream, which was Sunday. It is now Tuesday. And in that time, I knit my um, Tension Square which was I think 13 across and 16 rows up to get two inches. I blocked it on my mats that I bought. Um, whoops. I bought it on the mats that I bought, or I blocked it on the mats that I bought. Finally got to use them. Um, and it, yeah, came out great. So that's inspiring, even though the color isn't super correct. Um, but in the last, yeah, 48 hours-ish since I started it, I have made some great headway. Now I had to up the pattern size because it is a size 38 bust and I'm about a 40, sometimes larger, depending on the day. Um, so I was talking to Bex of Subversive Femme, where the pattern came from. I bought patterns from her in the past. This is one of her free ones on her website. Like I said, I'll link it down below. So I have my notes for my frozen-ish sweater. The cast on for a size 38 was 111 stitches on a size two US needle. Now I 
added six inches total, three to each side, um, for a cast on of 117 for my size 40 inch bust. And it was three and a half inches of ribbing. Um, those extra six stitches I added should give me the one inch on the front and the back each to get me to the size that I need to be. Um, so I just started working. I've been spending my nights at home having a glass of wine and knitting like a normal 28 year old humanoid. So also I've been buying a, I, in the last seven days I've bought eight bottles of one wine from a local wine store because it was five dollars a bottle but if you bought six it's 4.25 um so that's fun <coughs> so i've been drinking wine and knitting and i've also been knitting in my like lulls at work so since sunday i've gotten this much done that is a lot i don't think i've ever knit through something so quickly um the ribbing looks teeny tiny it was done on a size two needle and then i sized up to a five us to knit the body and obviously this will be stretched when i wear it um when i was talking to bex about this pattern she said that when in doubt i can do the front or well maybe not swap it in the middle of the project but in the future i can knit the ribbing in the same size needle as the body to make it a little bit bigger because to make pl uh, patterns a little more plus size kind of work work around them a little bit more so it's three and a half inches of ribbing which you can kind of see I think and then I just started in on the body now it is classic stock net um, so it's a row of knitting a row of purling um, every sixth row, I have to add one stitch to each side. Now, I should have Googled it earlier than I did because I was struggling with every sixth row is a purl row. So adding while purling, I wasn't, I couldn't really remember how to do it. And I should have looked it up earlier than I did because when I did, I got it right and it looked great. I just looked it up on YouTube how to add a stitch purl wise came up with the right answer and it looks so much better. I don't know if, it's hard to get the edge flat. Oh, just knocked a stitch off. Let's not do that again. It's hard to see the edge kind of flat, but there's like some large loops from where I did, improvised almost adding those first few stitches. And then when I added this one, it's just perfect. So, you know, we all learn as we go. And I, when I don't know how to do something when I'm knitting, I legitimately just look it up on YouTube and let some old person on here who loves teaching people to knit instruct me on how to do it correctly so this is where I'm at on this piece I obviously am not trying to get it done for like Christmas season or anything because that's too much work I'm go letting myself work on this at my leisure because rushing a sweater makes can make the size inconsistent and no matter what, I probably won't finish it by end of winter this year because we have such a short winter here in Phoenix. Uh, which doesn't mean I'm not going to try to. I'm going to work on it as much as I can in my spare time. Um, but I know soon I'll have to start holiday gifts. Now, I am not knitting Continental right now. I'm knitting English because I just can go so much faster this way. But I do need to start like training myself better in Continental. So I think I will uh, make myself uh, change over if I do any more knitting tonight. Um, now, I am excited about this. I've like quickly kind of stripped this ball of yarn down because I've gotten such a quick amount done. I'm curious if with the colors being so not wrong, but different from what I expected, if the snowflake idea is going to be cute at all. And I'm not sure if it's going to. But I think I'm just going to stick with it and do what I can uh, because I'm excited about a knitting project that's moving quickly. I'm excited about a new vintage knitting pattern that like 
is cute because I think I really struggle to find ones that I enjoy in my size. And yes, this technically wasn't in my size, but I have lovely friends who have helped me figure out how to scale it up. Um, I know that there's a lot of resources online of not like personal friends if you don't have ones that know how to knit um, that you can find. I think that By Gum By Golly has a tutorial on her website about how to scale up a knit piece, but I might be wrong about that. So, oh, I did, I also wanted to show you this. So I love having a like holder for my yarn so it can kind of roll around and whatever. I got this Pluto at Disneyland last year for popcorn and I thought he was so cute and I didn't know what I was gonna keep him around for, but I had to get him and just be like, well, he's gonna be a Christmas decoration. Then I realized I can put my yarn in the back and let it roll around. Uh, it has been cleaned a few times. Um, let it roll around while I knit so I don't have to worry about my ball of yarn. Um, like getting on the floor because I live in a house with dogs and it will pick up all the dog hair in the world. Um, so that's a quick knit update on my new, was supposed to be Arendelle Aqua 1940s snowflake sweater. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I post new content every Tuesday and Friday and every other Sunday. Make sure to follow the link in below this to my Patreon. I have varying levels from thirty, from $3 to $30 a month to help me produce this content while also being a performer and working a day job. I like doing all of this stuff and if you want some exclusive content, follow the link below for that. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.